What's up, guys? It's Suds and Bubbles and my good friend Avi here. Howdy, everybody. What's up, gamers? We are here in Stage 1, Week 2. We're looking at a Majors Division game today. I'm very excited, Suds. Oh, absolutely. T plan today is going to be Blackjack Gaming versus 1516. We've got their uh, records up here. Blackjack Gaming 1 and 2, 1516, 0 oh and 3. So not the best starts to the season, but, you right. know, there's a lot of season to go. And uh, their next game is right now. So they've got a good shot at, uh, at rectifying those records. Yeah, <laughs> definitely right there. Uh, it is the beginning of the season. So we're going to take a look at this, uh, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. But uh, what we really want to focus on on today is how these two teams play each other and that uh it's going to start setting the tone for the future uh of stage one so uh let's go ahead and uh take a look here i believe we're going to start off today's match on uh lee jang tower is that right you are absolutely right before we do that oh. though we're going to do a quick little uh look at oh. matches today around outlet so uh you i believe it may still be going on, may have just ended. Uh, over on the outlet, the main outlet channel, we've got Penton Viserion versus Flashpoint. It's got to be a hot miners match over there. And then about an hour after, right now, as we're getting started, is going to be Echo 6 versus Otter Oxide, also over on the outlet tournament Twitch. So once you're done here, go ahead and check them out. Should be some great games on their channel as well yeah, tonight. definitely. Been hearing a lot of great things about this Miners League that's going on. So all these below diamond uh, teams definitely showing up and uh, bringing us some quality games. Absolutely. But as you were getting to, yeah. <laughs> we are going to take a look at our uh, map pool today. We are going to be starting on Lijiang Tower. So that should be a uh, good time there. What uh, what are you hoping to see here on Lijiang Tower from these teams? Oh, uh, you know, uh, I'm definitely thinking we're going to see um, some Farah perhaps on that garden level. Uh, we may also see some Hammond. Uh, I think that the map geometry of Lijiang Tower is uh, very, very um, supportive of a, uh, a Wrecking Ball Hammond playstyle. Um, it's got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, columns that you can hook onto, wrap around, uh, you know, spin around, uh, even just to gain some speed and momentum to fly through the enemy team, knock them around, disrupt them. Uh, I'm very excited to hopefully see something like that. Uh, even his ultimate covers, uh, you know, the, the points pretty well on most of Lijiang Tower's, uh, uh, you know, sub-maps. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The other thing I like seeing here on Lijiang is some Fara. We get to see her on gardens pretty yeah, often, yeah. as well as uh, there on... Uh, on uh, Night Market, oh, uh, yeah. 
has a lot of that is a scary point to try Ooh. to hold there's a yeah. lot of uh just dangerous ground right around the outside of it and we may even see some uh some lucio play uh not only for the the big cheesy boops however uh we may also see him for uh the the repositioning uh power of his speed boost so uh definitely see lucio play pretty strong with another main healer on the lijong maps yeah certainly certainly um but it's not uh, un unlikely that we continue to see some of these goats compositions. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, uh. Zenyatta <laughs> goats very popular for that goats v goats matchup. Yeah. We've been seeing a good bit of a uh, somber goats as well as may goats uh, up at the higher levels. Uh, right. Some of those contenders teams favoring May Goats, and I've started to see a little bit of it here in the uh, Owlet tournament. It's just so strong because May, you know, on maps with chokes is so strong with her mm -hmm. wall and then goats teams cannot kill her right she either shifts into her little ice block or uh, she can just build a wall right under her feet and now what are you gonna do right, she's exactly. way up there and yeah. you are a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of goats yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a great point suds um with with her her kit specifically um a lot of what may does is control controlling the battlefield um even being able to control specific uh enemy team members uh you know just with her main uh, functionality on her cryo gun um Freezing down a Reinhardt who doesn't catch you, uh, you know, with his shield up, uh, really gets caught off guard. You can really burn him down easily once he doesn't have that giant shield in front of him and he's frozen in place. Um, and her ultimate, like I was saying too, um, controlling a, a good chunk of the battlefield there, really exerting that that dominance and and really saying like, if you want to come into this part of the the battlefield right now, uh, we're just gonna take care of you. So we we may see some uh, may here on Lijong as well. You're right. And that's one of those reasons that ultimate, as you're discussing is one of those reasons that she actually is a good swap for D.Va in these matches, mm -hmm. in these uh, compositions, oh. because you can combo that uh, Blizzard with the Graviton Surge, <laughs> and once everybody's frozen, they can't hold up shields, they can't transcendence, they can't do any of that right. stuff, so you're able to just burn down those uh, players very, very quickly that right, way. Right, yeah, that's a, that's a dirty ult combo, but it is very effective, and I actually like to see it. Um, Zarya has been played quite a bit recently since uh, Zarya does tend to uh, strengthen the, the standard goats composition that we've been seeing in this meta so often, um, you know, as of late. So, um, you know, I'm sure that we do have some Zarya mains on both Blackjack and 1516. Uh, we'll see what they bring us tonight. However, you never know. Maybe uh, maybe these teams are specifically trying to break the meta here in this competition, but uh, only no, time will tell as we move on to Lijang Tower. Yeah, that is absolutely right. We're just going to take a quick look around the map here. Um, and we will be starting on Control Center from the looks of things as these teams just kind of start to uh, set up. Perfect. Initiating match. You know, you may even see, uh, if I be so bold to suggest it, you might even see some Junkrat play here on Control Tower. Uh, I, I think that the the structure of this specific Control Tower map um, it definitely is, is strong for a Junkrat player who knows their positioning well. You can post up, you know, right behind point, you know, right outside where that ledge is at, where that mega health pack is, and spam the chokes there, um, you know, and you're able to easily dip back behind a wall to reload, to, you know, uh, retreat if you're being pressured. A, a lot of the times, too, um, you know, like we were saying with this prevalent goats meta, um, tank busters are also something to be considered. You know, you don't always see it, of course, because they can usually just uh, rush you down. But if if you're uh, off on the side and they can't actually get to you, um, that damage, that burst damage, really starts to add up if they're not able to deal with you immediately. So you know, we might see that. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Uh Junkrat often a good choice here, and Five, we are about four, to get these teams coming three, out. It looks two, like we are going to have 15-16 running yeah, this uh, Zen Goats composition, and on the other side, we're actually getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a 2-2-2 two, two, two comp. Yes, thank you, Blackjack. So, 15-16 uh, making the way through main here. Um, Looks like they're already trying to pressure uh, Blackjack Gaming down, and immediately Blackjack Gaming taking down both the supports on side of the 1516. So uh, I'm sorry, two of the three supports. So we're gonna have to see how they carry forward with this first team fight. Uh, but again, just really taking down the the first two key picks, and then just pushing through, really uh, dominating this first fight. 
Yeah, I don't think 1516 was ready for the uh, Hanzo <laughs> flank as well as that wow. kind of McCree damage just powering them down. And now they are going to be able to start holding this choke here. Hanzo, la 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 sense Let's Seneca. Late Sen Oh my god. He is going to have and the Dragon Strike. And there we go. Dragon Strike right out towards the spawn immediately. Sunspot able to take down Vidas. And then here we go. An Earth Shatter coming from Danger Man himself. Wow. We've, we've got quite the ultimate party going on here at, at, at this choke. Yeah, and they get just enough out Ooh. of it to force a reset from 1516, who are going to start to uh, regroup in spawn. But now Spook going to have an Earth Shatter of his own, Ethereal sitting on that sound barrier. So um, we will see how they want to use these. There's oh, the and a big Earth Shatter coming out. Three people. There we go. So Spook. Coming in hot with that Earth Shatter, really capitalizing on that ultimate and pushing in on Blackjack Gaming. 15 16 is making easy work at this point now. Yeah, that was just pretty poor wow. positioning from uh, Blackjack Gaming. They left that Shatter lane completely open. They weren't playing their corners. The Reinhardt wasn't able to shield his uh, back line. So uh, they really just need to look out for that. Now a huge ult advantage in favor of 1516 as they've got uh, four ultimates after just popping that rally. Yep, that's correct. And now they have that very good chunk of armor on all of the team members as well. They were all around for that one. Nano, however, really uh, taking a lot of damage. They're having to uh, pop back and get topped off. So Blackjack Gaming taking the advantage of that shield uh, pressure, kind of pushing in here now on point, seeing where they can uh, find an opening and perhaps, uh, and again, we got another dragon coming out. Eaten. Oh, and there we go, yep, yeah, Nano eating that. Diva's Matrix is insane, so that, uh, unfortunately, even though the bomb came out in the middle of that Graviton, it only took down Danger Man due to the, the Transcendence, but it looks like 1516 is still holding strong here. Yeah, it got Danger Man and Prompto's mech, so that should be enough to uh, reset this fight, but they're actually going to come in here fast while Nano's still out of mech himself. Yeah, that's that's a good point here. Uh, Blackjack Gaming getting two picks here, so that looks like they are going to try to pressure it. Sunspot with the High Noon coming out, taking out Bear Stakes. Looks like Blackjack Gaming's coming in and a big charge from Danger Man, taking other Reinhardt out. Now we've got a... Earth Shatter, unfortunately, it looks like the enemy team was just too far out. But Blackjack Gaming does take the point here uh, at 63-63%. You're absolutely right, and that's uh, a little bit of a greedy Earth Shatter coming out from Danger Man. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll forgive him for it. They are going to have the Diva Bomb, Ooh. and they actually get an early kill onto Spook here. That's going to force yeah. a little bit of a reset That's a coming point. from 1516, who now will be pushing in with both support ultimates. So as long as they're able to stagger those properly, they should have not too much trouble pushing in here. Uh, really, we are waiting to see if LA Technica can get up that rip tire is gonna be the uh, the big ender if for that transcendence. Yeah, that's a great point, Sud. So we have a, quite a few, uh, few ults coming out on front, so we've got Rip using the Coalescence to keep the team up out here as well. The Ace Superhero uh, and their uh, McCree all ulting at the same time here. We've got the Rip tire coming out now on point and taking oh. down both the Lucio and the Reinhardt on the side of 1516. 1516 falling apart here in overtime and it looks like Blackjack Gaming, they just need to take care of the D.Va on point and they're gonna win this one. Yeah, and you just know, like that. We had wow. a, uh, oh, oh, and before we say anything, we've got a Hammond on point stalling and finally Vidas coming in with a cheeky uh, stall there, but it uh, isn't, isn't enough. Yeah, that will be the first point for Blackjack <laughs> Gaming and we actually saw a really good shatter come out from Spook to kind of initiate into that final fight. But unfortunately, he got killed immediately afterwards, and the cleanup just wasn't there from his team. And then, as we were discussing, huge rip tire coming out from. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say LA Technica. That sounds like the I, thing that it is. I was gonna say yeah. Looking at the all the special characters, thank you. It's either that or La Technica, but you know. We'll, we'll probably get some, we'll some just go with chat Technica. messages later. We'll just go with Technica for now. Yeah, yeah, Technica. I like it. It's got a good ring to that's, it. That's, that's <laughs> nice. So here we are on a night Four, market. And three, again, 1516 two, looking like they're running one, uh, goats, nine, except this time they two, are putting uh, Ryu on objective. Moira, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you are absolutely right. We are going to have the Moira goats coming up against a uh, McCree Junkrat comp from... Uh, from Blackjack Gaming here. They are going to go oh, ahead and Sunspot take taking the down the Lucio right away and Vidas falling. So 1516 again losing two out of the three of their supports. <laughs> now all three supports on the side of 1516 are down. So it's just a matter of time for Blackjack Gaming to take the tanks down as well. 
And I mean, a few few members of uh, a blackjack do fall in the middle of this fight. However, again, a strong opening from them. Yeah, absolutely. It looked like 15-16 was a little bit split with their team there. Uh, most of the team was there on point. From the looks of things, uh, Ethereal was kind of off on his own, looking for those possible, probably looking for those Lucio boops. Yeah. But you know, if you're gonna go for it, you have to at least stay alive and yeah. be aware that Sunspot is on that McCree, has the flashbang to kind of catch you out. Yeah, and the insanely buff right click too. It's 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 terrifying as a Lucio main. So Danger Man getting Vidas out of the fight very early, um, and a Earth Shatter coming out on point. Let's see if they're able to capitalize. A Coalescence comes out from both Moiras, so we're going to see quite a bit of a, looks like a Dragon Ball Z battle going on here. Uh, but Prompto Danger Man, a superhero, doing a lot of work, taking down uh, three members of 1516 in the middle of that fight, and they're going to stall this diva, Baby Diva, running for her life, but they're not going to let her, oh, flies up into the sky. Vidas trying to save, but Vidas unfortunately gets uh, staggered quite hard. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that uh, we had Vidas throw the armor pack onto the mini diva. At that point, you really do just want her to die. Yeah. Because uh, getting her mech back is pretty unlikely when she's completely surrounded by the enemy team. But huge ult advantage here for Blackjack Gaming now. They've got a oh. Riptire is going to come out Rip to initiate. Riptire coming out from behind. However, it looks like the Zarya shield was able to absorb that. And we've got the High Noon now. Gun Sunspot not finding anybody with it. However, uh, La Technica getting, getting some pressure down onto the Reinhardt. Vidas falling as well again in the middle of this fight. So 15-16 uh, at a disadvantage. However, Bear Stakes not going down without a fight. However, did fall in the middle of the fight. So again, I think we're going to see a reset here from 15-16 unless they're going to try to be aggressive because they only have 7% uh, uh, to, to try to take this point. Diva Bomb coming out for a remake perhaps. And there we go, their remake happens on point. We do have a few members of 1516 here on point trying to stall in overtime. And a big Earth Shatter coming out, taking down a few members. However, not enough damage to really uh, take advantage, but uh, we do have a few members of Blackjack Gaming finally falling with the Diva Bomb coming out to stall further. And here we go, 1516 has found a way to bring this back, and now they've flipped it. Yeah, that was a really great Earth wow. Shatter to break open that fight for Spook. But I'm a little disappointed he didn't use kind of the combo there, which we'll discuss later as this fight yeah. actually Ooh. opens with Danger Man getting a huge kill onto Ooh. his opposing and Reinhardt. Technica dies uh, somehow. No. Let's see. So Blackjack Gaming, I think, trying to regroup and figure out their approach here. Coming out through main, peeking and seeing exactly uh, how 1516 is set up. Yeah, they are just kind of looking for an entry point. And they have point. plenty of time, too. They they have the point at 99% for themselves already, so they win one fight, and this is as good as one for yeah, them. So, with five rip tire, Coalescence coming out from Blackjack Gaming. Oh, there we go. Big pick. And the high noon as well. Transcendence coming out in the middle of that Graviton search. However, quite a few things from Blackjack Gaming connecting in the middle of that fight. And there we go. They've won this fight, turning the point over to themselves. Yeah, uh, and there probably isn't a chance for 15-16 to get back here. That's going to be a go. map win wow. for Blackjack Gaming. There we go. Blackjack Gaming taking Lijong Tower in, in this, uh, in this uh, first set here. Yeah, you are absolutely wow. right. And uh, we actually will hop back over here, take a look at this uh, play of the game from our friendly Moira. Wow, oh, this was right at the end. Oh, good, good Man. stuff there. A lot of, lot of, a uh, lot of input into that fight oh, for yeah. the Moira. So that is going to be a two win on Lijiang Tower for Blackjack Gaming. So. Uh, as I was discussing there in that kind of second to last fight, we didn't see Spook use the Reinhardt combo with that shatter. And the thing is, you really want to be shattering when you have your Fire Strike online. Mm. Because once you knock everyone down, a Fire Strike is 50 damage to every person it touches. Yes. And that just makes it so much easier for you or your team to clean them up, especially squishies. Sorry, the Fire Strike is seven, 75 or I 100? I think it's 75. No, it's 100. Is it? It is 100. Sorry. No, it's okay. But the so anyway, <laughs> between your shatter is 50 damage, the fire strikes 100, 
you only need another 50 damage, which exactly. one hammer swing or a little bit of help from a teammate is going to be enough to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, finish off those squishies. Right, yeah. I've seen a lot of uh, professional Reinhardts. What they'll do is, like you said, they'll use the Earth Shatter. They will fire strike as many people in a line as they can, get one or two swings, and then as the enemies are doing their standing animation, he'll actually charge the biggest target to then do that nice, good burst damage. Um, I, I think a mistake a lot of uh, maybe more novice Reinhardts do is they'll Earth Shatter, and then they will charge right through the mess. And unfortunately, that knocks everybody out of the way, and that could cause a lot of damage to miss. Um, you know, like you were saying, if you're hoping that your teammates, you know, your DPS will come in and kind of assist you to finish those kills. So, uh, yeah, we, we did see uh, quite a few uh, plays there going on, uh, but it looks like Blackjack had a, had a stronger handle on Li Zhang, at least. So... I uh, believe we are going to be moving on to Junkertown very shortly, uh, just waiting for the teams to give us the already. Yeah, you are absolutely right. And as as you said, the uh, charge not the best choice after a shatter. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that was not part of the combo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true. But uh, we are going to have uh, our teams possibly swapping sides. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah, no, no one is really sure at the moment. But our, as you said, our next map will be Junkertown. So, uh, lots of lots of opportunity to see some play of your favorite hero, Junkrat. Yes, and yeah, I, definitely. I do enjoy seeing the odd Orisa pick here and there, and Junkertown is a great place for it, with or without the Bastion. Oh boy, with with the Bastion, I'd <laughs> have to go get my, my heartburn with, medication. With or without. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but seeing Bastion always just ru rustles my jimmies yeah. to, to reference a dead meme. Uh, but yeah, I, I do hope we see um, some Junkrat. And, uh, you know, we, we may even see uh, one of my favorite off-tanks on this map, some Roadhog. Uh, oh. haven't, uh, unfortunately, haven't really seen Roadhog uh, given the chance to shine very often in this in this uh, tournament so far. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what the teams are bringing Junkertown. to Junkertown. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, options they have here. It's, it's a vastly different map, of course, not only because it's an escort, but just the map geometry in general is so vastly different from Lijong. So uh, we'll see what they're going to do here, what kind of strategies they're most comfortable with. Yeah, you are absolutely right. And uh, as we take a nice stroll down the uh, cart path of Junkertown here, we will uh, have our teams begin to assemble their heroes. Yeah, um, you did say uh, you might see Orisa here. Is there any uh, kind of off-meta hero that you'd like to see the, uh, one of these teams bring out? Um, I mean, I don't know about in terribly off-meta, but this is surprisingly, especially this first point of Junkertown, you can get a lot of value out of that May. Oh, yeah, um, right, right. Can be really oh, effective. So we are going to see... Uh, Blackjack Gaming on the defense to begin this uh, to begin this one. Perfect. We will. It looks like see the Wrecking Ball, the Ash. Oh. So the two Ash. newest heroes in the game. Yeah, that's true. That's true. As well as the. Uh, oh no, we are gonna get the May from uh, Technica there. There you go, Technica. So uh, Danger Man on the Rhine. So they're we're actually running the Hammond kind of as an off tank here. Okay, I like it. I like it. We will see them start to set up on this uh, typical high ground, uh, and we'll oh. see what the attackers want to run. It looks like they're actually running. Five, they want to run four, the three, Wrecking Ball with two, Winston and one. Diva. So a little bit of a different income. triple tank coming out from uh, from from <laughs> fifteen sixteen. Yeah, so we'll take a peek here. Uh, looks like they are diving in right away with, uh, you know, the Diva winston Hammond combo. It looks like that's uh, pretty effective. They got Blackjack Gaming off the top. However, uh, Noma on that Tracer falls right away as Blackjack responds to the dive, fighting instead in the street level. Looks like they're pretty versatile in their approaches. Uh, Technica getting Nano uh, out of the, the mech there and then uh, Prompto winning the, the Hammond fight there. Now they're really pressuring them here at spawn almost, uh, kind of sitting on this cart. They're not going to let this cart move for free, and they shouldn't. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They do uh, win that initial engagement, and now Spook is going to be looking for where he needs to engage. Oh! It's a big <laughs> firebomb, and Sunspot is going to go down to Ah, but Nova. we've got Vitas now on the Sombra, so we'll see. Uh, going for that Ana, but it doesn't look like anything is finalized there. 
And again, uh, Blackjack Gaming just really responding to, you know, the dive plays that are, uh, you know, being attempted here. A big uh, anti-heal grenade coming out. Oh, unfortunately, the Nano Ryan does fall, uh, you know, as he's attempting to, to get uh, in there. And we've got 15-16 now making a few key picks and pushing Blackjack Gaming out of the out of this uh, section of the map for right now. Yeah, and Nomo wow. putting down a lot of damage that fight. And as you said, a huge anti-nade coming out from Ryu was a big catalyst for them winning that fight as it did land on a large portion of the enemy team. But we get the re-engage now. And we do have a Bob coming out. Uh, I think Bob got slept. Oh no, Bob's behind the uh, that, that little sh shack there. Um, the Diva Bomb coming out, taking care of all of the Hammond Mines that were on point. Um, but it looks like 15-16 just pushing through and getting to this first checkpoint. I actually really like that Bob placement there because it protected him from damage from the enemy team unless they decided to try to push up past there, which allows the defenders to get very aggressive there on right. that hole. Yep, so here we go now. Uh, we've got most of Blackjack Gaming set up on this high ground, and we'll see how they continue forward with that. Um, Got the Sombra trying to flank. Unfortunately, Sunspot catches her out. Uh, and 1516 just pushing forward to the street level, just uh, trying to see how they can, uh, you know, make uh, make an advantage here. Yep, Sunspot sleeping for and the And finally, moment. Blackjack, uh, some of the team dropping down. A big Earth Shatter coming out. There we go. Danger Man really just swinging that big hammer around. But again, a very nice anti-grenade and an EMP coming out. So now we've got the EMP on top of that anti-grenade uh, with the Winston um, uh, Primal Rage, forgive me. And the Bob, I mean, a lot of ultimates came out on the side of 15-16, but it secured this, this part of the fight here. Yeah, it looked like the issue there, like great shatter coming out mm -hmm. from Danger Man, but a little bit of lack of target focus on that uh, on that shatter. And for that reason, the monkey was able to pop his ultimate and uh, kind of turn that fight around for 15-16. Yep, and now 15-16 at this second checkpoint already. They have almost five minutes in the time bank right now, so they are sitting very pretty on their time advantage. So uh, we're going to see, hopefully, Vidas making some uh, some cheeky, sneaky plays here on Sombra. We'll see what happens. Oh, but Sunspot not letting her get around the back line for free and actually does take her out, so... We've got Bob coming out now. Uh, it looks like it's Sunspot's Bob. Back, pushed back in the corner, but this does help because uh, that Nano on Spook isn't really utilized to the best of its ability since he's trying to dodge Bob. Um, we do have 1516, however, able to keep pushing this forward. Prompto trying to stall here, um, but he is by himself. He wants to be careful here. He does get demeched in the process since he didn't really have anybody to back him up except for Technica on the Tracer. So um, Danger Man and the rest of the team trying to fight underneath in that in that little section there. It does scare 1516 back enough to kind of uh, to regroup, so we'll, we'll see how this works. Yeah, uh, I think that is the right call there to regroup. You've mm -hmm. got the mobility to just kind of get out. And okay, now gotcha. we are going to likely see a huge... Oh, my God! Oh! Technica with a <laughs> huge pulse bomb. There we two. go. That is wow. going to delay, <laughs> delay this push even more. Yeah, as, that's a as fantastic I was saying, point. Jeez. We are coming up to another big old fight. Vitas gonna have the EMP here Very shortly. Soon, yeah. Wow, that was fat. Yeah, that's, I have not seen pulse bombs like that in some time and I, I love it. I was gonna say, you must be a very happy suds right now. <laughs> I'm usually a happy son. Oh, good. But Winston dives in. Yep, here. we've got a dive happening right now. It looks like Noma, alongside the tanks diving, is able to take Danger Man out. So that main tank has fallen on the side of Blackjack. So uh, Grim able to take Spook out in the middle of this fight, however. So uh, we've got the Diva Bomb thrown out by Prompto. It doesn't get anybody. However, she does get... Uh, oh, she actually gets killed before she's able to remake. These ashes are both popping off, so Bob comes out from Sunspot, really laying down that suppressive fire, and we have Ryu hiding behind the cart. Unfortunately, gets caught out by Danger Man, but is able to make it out before she gets killed. That's insane. Did you see that? I did. <laughs> oh, man. Man, and now it's just a little bit of yeah. cleanup here oh, there for we go. Blackjack Gaming. But uh, Sunspot doing a lot of work on that Ash, building up that ultimate so quickly. We've seen her pop, I think, at least three, if not four, bobs this game. Mm -hmm. So uh, just this round. Wow. And so now six Ooh. ultimates online for 15-16. Unfortunately, Noma goes down early. It is a trade, though. That is a trade. I do expect right. them to go ahead and wait for their Ash to mm -hmm. make this engagement. But uh, oh. 
there are four ultimates on the defending side, so not, and it, not the easiest of pushes here. And it looks like Vidas is, is trying to play some mind games here, continuously throwing and destroying her translocator in front of the enemy team um, to really uh, kind of get them freaked out about where Summer's at. However, uh, Blackjack Gaming getting two picks here in this, this fight still, so it looks like 15-16 has really lost the momentum. They are sitting on five ultimates right now, so it is possible that they're they're going to just wait to have a full team regroup and, you know, run in with five ultimates. But uh, I have to commend Blackjack Gaming for right now uh, really stalling this point and keeping 15-16 at bay. Yeah, um, we are seeing a really Ooh, good hold. Another, another good pulse bomb, bomb from Technica. He is just destroying Technica the loves supports their of the enemy team <laughs> with those pulse bombs. Yeah. And now we, we do have uh, Diva's mech back, so all six ultimates. They really need to make a concerted push here uh, if they want to get this moving. They've only got a minute left, so we're nearing last fight territory. Vidas, there we go. Finally coming in with a gigantic... Okay, oh. the EMP gets the secured kills on that Diva bomb. Finally, 15-16 making this entry. They are pushing in. They are getting in deep, and they are taking down Blackjack Gaming. Bursts at a time, and now they're pushing this cart for free. I mean, not for free. They earned this. Yeah, and I mean, wow. it took them a while to find it, but <laughs> once they did, huge, I, huge I think ult they combo absolutely there. took advantage of, of Blackjack Gaming maybe getting a little complacent there. So we've got the Reinhardt hacks. Bob coming out now. Let's see. Both Bobs fighting. It's going to be a robot war. Um, we've got two support ults on either side coming out. So uh, we got the Coalescence versus the Transcendence. Keeping each other up. We've got trades on either side. Um, however, 1516 uh, trying to make make a claim here. Blackjack Gaming, however, is pushing up, trying to keep them off the cart once we're reaching close to overtime. The uh, Spook is able to get a lot of space secured with the Primal Rage here, and 1516 is now in overtime. Pushing this cart, however, we're gonna see if Blackjack Gaming can make it out because 1516 is looking pretty strong. We've got the Brigida swap in the in the final seconds of overtime. However, uh, goes down immediately. La Technica falling as well. An Earth Shatter coming out from Danger Man isn't enough to get this overtime running down. It might be, but 1516 really pushing this damage in. Prompto the only one on cart, and it looks like finally we've got 1516. Capping here on Junkertown. Yeah, uh, that was a wow. really good final push from them. Great entry with that big EMP bomb combo, and then they just continued to roll all the way to the end of that point. And I think wow. part of the issue there is Blackjack Gaming not kind of getting a full regroup after that initial fight loss. They kind of dragged it out. They uh, let the Brigida stagger out there, and then they were never able to really fight 6v6 again. And uh, any... A uh, strong push that we saw come out from the defense 15-16 were just able to weather either through support ultimates or just kind of spreading out and uh, keeping one person there on point. And uh, one other thing I'd like to point out uh -huh. from that final fight is I just love the image of a Bob firing in the back of another Bob. <laughs> just and the other Bob yeah. doesn't care Completely whatsoever. Completely focused he's on the other like, Bob. Yeah, got... he knows what he's got to do, and it's kill the other Bob. <laughs> he's got to assert Bob dominance. Abso Bobinance. Absolutely, and that Bob just doesn't even give a crap. Yeah. He's taking shots in the back. <laughs> he doesn't care. What, what What's he going to do? He's like, ah, it's fine. I'm made of metal. I can, I can weather this storm. I was only going to be out here for 10 seconds anyway. Yeah, exactly. Well, what? looks like we are uh, gearing up here to switch sides. Uh, we may see this uh, this Widowmaker that I, I could have possibly uh, mentioned we might have seen earlier, but uh, nope. I think they're just kind of messing around with the picks while they're in the spawn here. Yeah, but here on the defense, we are going to get uh, Moira, actually quad tank with Moira and Lucio. So there's that Roadhog you were looking for. And again, this Hanzo McCree comp coming out on the attack for Blackjack Gaming. All right, yeah. So we've got 15-16 setting up. They actually rotate around and catch uh, Blackjack Gaming in the back here. Let's see. Technica and Dangerman, however, uh, coming in hot with those counter plays and really not letting that, uh, that flank uh, get them too much. But... Uh, Danger Man caught out now. Technica trying to get this high ground positioning, but Vidas really just going in deep, does not care, and uh, does actually pay for it. So Ethereal gonna try to make it out, but Technica throwing those big old Hanzo logs out. And I mean, Blackjack Gaming getting some, some easy cart distance now. Yeah, I think uh, Vidas I... and Ethereal overstaying their welcome a little bit, but Vidas is gonna make the swap 
onto the Brigida. So uh, Ryu onto the Ana as well. So now we have a uh, Ana Goats composition coming out for the defense. As they begin, they're going to try to take out Technica on this Hanzo. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see how this works out. A lot of high ground fighting going on right now while the cart's still being pushed, mind you. Um, so we've got 15-16 uh, like behind them again still. And we've got five people pushing this cart. Unless they can get somebody, there we go. So the Zarya finally stalling with a, a meter and a half left. Um, but I, I think, there we go. Blackjack Gaming is going to take it. And uh, a lot of big stalls coming out. Uh, or I'm sorry, a, a lot of big... Um, uh, what is it called? Staggers. Staggers there we go. Yeah. And, the other I mean, ST word I was looking for. The, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a lack of coordination there on the defense. We had yeah. five members chasing that uh, Technica on the Hanzo, while Spook tried to hold cart against five of the enemy team. And that, unfortunately, Hanzo had the mobility to get right. away from this GOATS composition. So that play doesn't really work out. You either got to go all six on the Hanzo or all six on the cart. But Spook yeah. is going to go down early. Huge Dragon shatter. Strike plus a Diva Bomb coming out and it oh. takes down Noma. So, uh, you know, along with the pressure of that Dragon Strike, Blackjack Gaming making an easy second point attack here. I think they're going to get it unless somebody from 15, 16 touches. Yeah, and yeah, I don't see anybody right. close enough. Wow. We do have Vidas has made the swap onto the McCree there. So, uh, dueling McCrees. I don't know how I feel about it in this kind of GOATS composition. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't add a lot that the uh, Brigida doesn't add, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Uh, they both have the stun, but the Brigida has the additional shield and healing that these tanks need. Yeah, that's uh, a good point. But we are going to see them start to engage from the low ground. Yep, so, uh, you know, just a Ryan v. Ryan battle. And we've got the stun! Oh, but Danger Man gets his shield up just in time! However, a very good anti-grenade on the Blackjack Gaming. We'll see if this High Noon gets anybody. It does. Ryu's down. Quite a few members of 1516 falling in the middle of this fight. And the nano boost onto Danger Man is going to help secure that kill onto Noma. Now, it didn't work out for them, but I really like the stun shatter it's attempt sad. coming out from uh, 1516. Oh. There, it was just a split second mistimed. Yes. That was really uh, well uh, thought out, though. Yes, that's a great point. And uh, real quick, I want to point out Technica getting that very good critical hit on, I believe it was the ulting Vidas, who switches over to Soldier Dragon's Strike coming out, actually flushing Winston out of that hallway here. And we've got the beat drop coming out for the side of 1516. They're going to actually push uh, Blackjack Gaming off the point for a sec. Ham uh, Hammer Down comes out, but I don't know if it catches anybody. We've got a split team, however. Blackjack Gaming. Oh, but Sunspot gets two kills with that Deadeye. Is that going to be enough for Blackjack Gaming? If they can take Ryu and Noma out here, they may be able just to get this point right here. Yeah, and Noma just trying to stall. Oh Somehow no, and Ash is not a stall character, but Spook comes out. Less than a meter left on the point. Ethereal now joining him. We've got uh, a superhero falling, so Blackjack Gaming at a disadvantage, losing two of the supports here, and wow, 15-16 making the stall here with a less than a meter to go. Yeah, absolutely. That's such a clutch hold, and that's all thanks to Spook making the jump, just wow. stopping the cart with less than a meter to go, but we are going to see uh, a re-engage come out from Blackjack Gaming. They've got the Transcendence. They're going to have the Diva Bomb, uh, and maybe maybe a Primal Rage, maybe the uh, Attack Visor for the Defenders here. Ooh. Yeah, and Noma moving on over to that Widow. Um, I, I don't think that that was mentioned before, and make it quick work getting oh. Technica We're out of the game. The back cap. Yep, we've got this uh, Diva Bomb coming out, but I think did that Winston bubble block it? I'm not sure. Danger Man, however, getting nanoed and a superhero keeping him up with that transcendence, and it looks like a combination might just keep them in the game here. Uh, the uh, Primal Rage coming out, though. Ooh, a good sleep on that Winston. Uh, Vidas, using his technical visor, takes down two members of Blackjack Gaming in the middle of this fight here. We've got a trade situation going on. 15-16 looking slightly at advantage. We've got the Diva Bomb pushing out as well to try to take care of the members, and it does. It gets grip in the last second before she can round the corner on that cart. And a good stall uh, attempt here again for 15-16. Vidas moving over to Hammond as well. Absolutely. I think at this point we just need Blackjack Gaming to... Uh build up a couple more ultimates and just make one final push in mm -hmm. here. I think that's what they're going to look to do. No ults for the defenders as we yes, enter. Yes, they are in a bit of a tight fight. spot there. And 15, two 16. minutes, 20 left. So they've got they've got time for a couple of fights if they need it here yep. uh, for Blackjack Gaming. So Danger Man just popping on 
point here. He doesn't really care. And uh, Earth Shatter coming out, but that Winston bubble blocks a majority of it. VDOS coming in and finishing him off. We've got a very nice uh, anti-grenade coming out on the tanks for uh, for Blackjack Gaming's grip, but um, it looks like with with uh, their Reinhardt falling, uh, it does kind of uh, push them back here. Um, yeah, that yeah, looked I very don't know. similar to that final recontest on first. We saw some from right. 15, 16. Just one member fighting five or six of the enemy team right. while the rest of the team was just off somewhere. Right, and as much as I'd love to scream and shout about, you know, a uh, 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 Reinhardt taking down six members of a team, that just doesn't normally happen in a team-based game. Um, so unfortunately, because of that, uh, they still have uh, the Dragon Strike and the Deadeye, but we do have two support ults on the side of 1516. They may be able to keep these defensive ults up. Um, only a minute and a half left in the time bank for Blackjack, so they do have to be pretty decisive here. Yeah, Vitas going after the supports does get stunned out by the Ooh, And finally, that high nuke coming out, but it doesn't take anybody down. Noma actually responding with a, a, a Tracer Bomb on the Sunspot. I like that. The Dragon Strike comes out a little late, I think. Um, but it does secure uh, two tank kills. So Blackjack Gaming may still try to push this forward. The Diva Bomb comes out from Prompto just to get that remake. And we do have Prompto, uh, looks like, retreating at this time. Nobody from uh, Blackjack Gaming's there with her, so she may want to move back. Yeah, only one fight left, and now the ultimate advantage has swung completely wow. in the opposite direction as we do have Vitas pushing their spawn. Five ultimates here for the defenders and uh, only the transcendents on the attacking side. Danger Man may get that Earth Shatter up, but uh, they've got a lot to deal with here they in do. those uh, proximity mines. That uh, minefield can be so devastating in an overtime fight. That's exactly correct, Suds. Uh, what a superhero might be able to do is pop that transcendence and use his invulnerability to pop all those mines. But if you aren't around your team, you're there we go. Just like I said, he's trying to do his best to keep his team up in the middle of this last 10 seconds, pop as many of those ground mines as he can. So we do have a trade here going between the two teams. The beat drop comes out from Ethereal and the Earth Shatter from Danger Man. I don't think it's able to catch anybody, um, but he is able to block that uh, Nano's uh, a diva bomb so blackjack gaming now pushing this cart back a little bit but the primal rage from spook on the side of 1516 making a lot of space for his team and now the nano boost on the spook is really gonna uh put a lot of pressure on the blackjack gaming as well and here we go there we go 1516 making that defense and i think uh 1516 has earned themselves junker town absolutely wow. that is a uh huge win for them what Fantastic. a great defense yeah. they had to stall for so long it was like a four minute hold there on the third <laughs> point as we take a quick look at this uh highlight from sunspot here on the mccree oh just mcwright click strikes again absolutely he's gonna go ahead and try to pick off a couple more Ooh. oh nice nice ultimate nice there just to finish them off Anna, yeah. so uh you're, yeah, you, you gotta love that. That's you do. good McCree play coming out from uh, from the members of 1516. Yeah, good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and update the scores here. Uh, we're gonna just take we are a actually sitting one one here on uh on, in this match. I so like those tied numbers. up. These uh maps have actually looked relatively even. Li Zhang, oh oh oh, wait for it, wait for it. Uh huh. There, we, there go. we go. Much better. I knew we might get something in chat saying, hey, hey, what's your numbers up with are that? wrong. <laughs> but more importantly, one to one. Yeah. Uh, these maps actually looking pretty close. Mm -hmm. uh, Li Zhang Tower a little bit in favor of Blackjack Gaming, right? but uh, it looks like 15 16 kind of woke up there on their oh, defense. Yeah. Definitely. So uh, next up, we will be going. To Volskaya. Yes, Volskaya. Volskaya, one of those maps where we s are beginning to see more of the uh, Bastion Symmetra strats. So, uh, it would not surprise me, but uh, it can be very hard to pull off. Yeah, um, I mean, it's it's uh, it's inventive. I, I do enjoy... Uh, Personally, I think that the rework for Symmetra was done in such a way that it actually opened up different play... Uh, different plays different tactics for for people playing overwatch to kind of explore and to uh you know kind of initiate into their own uh you know little playbooks so yeah we we may see uh uh a, a symmetra you know just teleporting her whole team in 
uh, you know, really rushing that point. Sometimes that works if you catch the enemy team off guard or if you get that high ground position, um, you know, just teleporting up there, that can be extremely advantageous for you. So, uh, yeah, we, we may see some sort of uh, spicy Symmetra play. Oh, spicy meatball. Spicy. Sp <laughs> yeah, uh, Symmetra's Italian, why right? Don't, why don't we have an Italian character? Uh, Blizzard? Yeah, Blizzard. <laughs> Where's our diversity? Oh, yeah. None of the Overwatch, not diverse enough. It's not. No, look at this cast. There's no Italians. <laughs> There's no Italians. <laughs> Who makes Overwatch's pasta meals? That's what <laughs> I need to know. You have to have a pasta dinner I mean, before you go into a war do, zone. Everybody do, knows this. We do have the Rialto map. But yeah, I I can't think of any characters that are supposed to be just plain no, Italian. I think... I think uh, Talon just likes hanging out in Italy, probably because the pasta dinners are good before they enter war zones. That's fair, yeah. You know, you gotta I mean, you gotta carve Doom up. Doomfist, Doomfist needs his carbs. <laughs> Doomfist <laughs> probably eats so much pasta. <laughs> I don't even want to uh, imagine. He's like he's like the Michael uh, yeah. Phelps of Talon. Yeah, and then I think I think Moira would eat just a just a small little bowl of penne. You know, she she doesn't need to do much. She just kind of Naruto runs around the map. And I was going to say, I'm pretty sure she would just lifesteal her sustenance from oh, Doomfist. Man, what She's is like, she? Doomfist, continue eating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Doomfist. I have you covered. That is, yeah. Yeah, that's that's how I imagine the uh, their things, dynamic things go there yeah. in uh, <laughs> in Team Talon. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy our lore discussions uh, while we wait for the map switches. Uh, and if not, then sorry. Yeah. But uh, we lore, are gonna. Lore is important. Lore is very important. That's that's correct. Um, important. Uh, I know that was, that was really bad. That was like, did you did you pull a muscle with that stretch? I think so. It hurt <laughs> really bad. But that reach. I, I just went ooh. <laughs> I went oof. <laughs> oof. Owie. Bone uh, hurting juice. But we are gonna see our teams begin to assemble their heroes as we. As you you all join us on a stroll through I wanna Volskaya see Genji. Industries. Give me Genji. I want my waifu on Volskaya. I would not bet on it. But no, uh, <laughs> not a lot of the teams right now are running Genji, especially on Volskaya. Um, but I think that he can be useful. I There's mean, actually, if you're going to run him, and if you're going to run him on Volskaya, <laughs> second point attack is not the worst place. Yeah. Because the Dragon Blade, if you land a big one, is just so good at mm -hmm. cleaning up that second point quickly, which is, as we all know, is very uh. necessary here on mm. these uh, on these maps. Yeah, you you may or may not hear me say draw Skya 19 different times depending on how how these maps go. Uh, <laughs> we we may or may not see ridiculous stall situations here on the second point as we do sometimes with you know maps like Hanomura and and uh, Temple of Anubis. Um, however, we're gonna take a look at the current team composition. So Blackjack Gaming. Uh, looking like they're setting up, uh, yeah, an interesting setup here. I like the Ash. I like the Junkrat, obviously. Um, it looks like it's it's meant to kind of do a lot of burst damage. Am I right? Yeah, I think I think you're right. And then I imagine this is a little bit of a uh, comfort pick scenario. I think Technica really likes this Junkrat, and uh, Sunspot has been kicking butt on the Ash. That's so. right, and Vidas is already in deep, if uh, if I was hearing correctly. So on that Sombra, I think maybe getting some recon. Has uh, that for Mega hacked? Yes, that too. Very important uh, for that, you know, initiating that team fight sunspot, however, getting a, the initial pick onto Bear Stakes. Yeah, so that's and we've got the hack oh. on, a, on a Zen, uh, but Vidas making it out, just doing a little bit of disruption. I like it, getting some ult like charge. It. Prompto's looking for him. Yeah. He's going to start spy checking. Which is smart. He knows, he knows the Sombra's around Ooh. here somewhere. I, I, do, I do like apparently it. apparently just going <laughs> to leave her there. So. Well, you know, you never know. Uh, we do have the hack off onto the D.Va, actually. So 15-16 uh, uh, making their way onto point now, forcing Blackjack to respond by jumping onto point themselves. So quite a bit of, uh, of pressure going onto those shields and some of that burst damage from uh, Ash and Junkrat kind of keeping 15-16 uh, at bay here. So we'll see how they continue. That dynamite is so important for uh, the Ash to hit because that damage over time is ridiculous. However, Ethereal making a good pick there, getting Ash out of the way. We've got the Coalescence coming coming out uh, for Blackjack Gaming. We'll see if that helps keep them up. Uh, looks like, unfortunately, uh, Danger Man falls in the middle of that fight, so they just have uh, some of their squishies left. I think uh, Prompto's finally coming back from spawn. Oh no, Prompto's on point out of mech, forgive me. 
Yeah, Vita's gonna oh, have to gonna translocate out of here. Wow. And that is gonna be a hold, not quite a tick. They were very not close, quite. though. Yeah. The engage there was so well coordinated wow. for 15 16. We saw the Sombra hack happen exactly as Spook pushed through the choke on that Reinhardt. So now Vita's. Uh, just trying to stay alive back here as the spy checking is actually starting to happen for Blackjack Games. Yeah, that's a good point. So we've got Bob coming out, Vidas, however, countering with this EMP and an Earth Shatter coming out as well. So uh, we've got quite a few things going on on the point here, but um, that, that EMP, unfortunately, not really able uh, to capitalize on that. Yeah, and a really good job. I think we are just going to see bear stakes get cleaned yeah. up here shortly, but a really good job from Blackjack Gaming to kind of back off as the EMP came out and focus all of their fire onto the Reinhardt of Spook. Once they got him down, uh, cleaning up the rest of the team was not too much of an issue, so I really liked what we saw from them there. But we are going to see 15-16 with four ultimates looking to uh, take another fight here if they're very quick they may have time for two fights but that's that's really going to be pushing it and, and it's not going to happen now that Vetus right. goes down yeah that's a great so. summary suds um i do want to point out that noma has been on hanzo for just a little bit now uh moving off from i believe was it 60 Diva? seconds remaining. um yeah that, that I sounds so. about I right noma was playing Diva prior to this. However, um, we do have Vidas uh, hopping in here, I think, trying to find an opening, maybe uh, cause some disruption to start off this team fight. 15-16, uh, again, just jumping on the point, making their presence known, Grip responding with this coalescence, and uh, the Nano does go on to the Reinhardt for 15-16. That bomb, when Ryan gets boomed, Prompto's bomb actually gets Ryu out of the match. So 15-16 has lost one of their uh, members already. And that Dragon Strike taking down two members of 1516. Technica not letting that Dragon go to waste, getting real chunky uh, damage out of that. Yeah, so wow. Technica over onto the Hanzo from the oh, Junkrat Vidas early on. staggered and pretty bad too. Yeah, such a good uh, flanking Dragon there. And it's a little weird how 1516 are playing this kind of Goats variant. And Spook goes down. That's going to be trouble man. for them. Oh, <laughs> man. And a good uh, grenade coming out. Unfortunately, Zen, you get caught in that Graviton Surge. And... I mean, Blackjack Gaming, full holding here on Volskaya Industries. Yeah, not even a tick. Wow. So they've got a pretty Some pretty easy um, attack ahead of them. And uh, looking back at the attack from 1516, I think it's a little strange the way they're playing that kind of GOATS variant. Yeah. Uh, typically with GOATS, you want to be rushing the enemy team and trying to like focus down their Reinhardt or their Zarya or... I mean, if you have to, go find a DPS or a right. support and focus them down. Get right. a kill. It's, it's, it's securing that numbers advantage and then rolling with that right. smartly. Right, but instead what they were doing is they were sending the Sombra to disrupt the team while they snuck around and took point position. But the... The, ben, the, the, strong, the strong suit of the GOATS comp is the rush. Right. So if you just stand in place and let them come to you, especially when they have that ranged damage, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Down. Absolutely. No, that's a fantastic analysis, Suds. That's why, you know, I, I, I do like the Somber pick. Don't get me wrong. But when you, you don't uh, adjust and coordinate effectively to how she's affecting that team fight, just like you were saying, they're kind of just standing there waiting seconds. for, you know, waiting for Blackjack to take them down, you know, saying, hey, we're, we're here. Here, what do you want to do next? It, it, they didn't show uh, a lot of the initiative, I think, that they could have been showing in that kind of team composition where it's necessary to have. So uh, we are switching sides now. Moving on over, so Blackjack uh, going to be doing their own attack here while 1516 sets up for their defense. It looks we like we have a dive defense, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, dive defense okay. with the Sombra and the uh, Ash. So they're probably just using the Sombra here to de deny those health packs, get some hacks onto the... Uh, onto the big players of Blackjack Gaming. And I like the Ash, just a little bit of range damage, high ground control. So, yeah. uh, but we are gonna get the Wrecking Ball from Prompto. It looks like oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, a big slap. Getting Noma actually thrown right into the back lines. So uh, getting that damage uh, output kind of just moved around here. And uh, 
Blackjack Gaming, they're trying to, I think, gauge where they can enter and where they can initiate. Um, but we do have Danger Man oh. charging Spook. Even with the boop, he's able to connect and take down a member of 1516 right away. And there we go. Now they're at a 6v4. Even with Danger Man slumped in the middle of this, Blackjack Gaming is really doing their best to focus down. And they took advantage of this fight. Just like we were just saying with this composition, you just have to focus and then go from there. Take the numbers advantage. Blackjack takes more. Sky Industries. Yeah, really, wow. really good job coming out from Blackjack there. And I mean, I feel like there. I liked what the uh, 1516 was trying to do with that defense, with their Winston, with their Diva, um, kind of holding that corner. It was really unlucky that that charge oh, uh, hit the Winston. Uh, so, you know, bad bounces. They happen. Yeah, they do. They, <laughs> they absolutely do. So we're going to go ahead and update this scorecard for everybody involved. But uh, yeah, uh, it just again, it, it looks like we had a bit of an uneven, uh, you know, placement there. Uh, Blackjack just, just kind of coming in and, and really showing that they, they know what they're doing on defense and they know what they're doing on offense. Um, I, I don't know. Like you were saying, 15, 16, I think taking that composition and, and, not really playing to its, its strengths. I think they were trying to play their composition like something else. And, and I think that that causes a detriment in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I think they've got a lot of good ideas and it's just a little bit uh, more coordination, a little more practice necessary to really make mm -hmm. the execution start to happen. So uh, a lot of promise there coming out from 15, 16 so far, but it's not over for them yet. It is not. We are going to Eichenwald. Blackjack Gaming have a 2-1 lead, but... Hey, one map is nothing. Oh yeah, no, 15, 16, absolutely, you know, showcasing their strengths on Junkertown. So it is entirely possible for them to come through and to take Eichenwald as well. Um, you know, if we go to this map five, we'll be hitting up Oasis, and I'll be excited if we do a map five. I love, I love to kind of see these these guys play, and you know, if the more even the game, the more exciting I I, I see it tend to be. So no no worries if we hit a map five tonight. But uh, speaking of Eichenwald, um. I'm kind of interested to see. I'm, I'm sure we're going to see goats. I think goats is pretty prevalent, especially on that first point. Um, but are, are there any maybe key changes, like key heroes you think that uh, that somebody may take to kind of catch the defense off surprise or maybe to catch the offense off, uh, you know, uh, off guard? Well, you know, um, on the defense, I think you can play something like a Hanzo or even a Widow mm -hmm. here. Uh, just because you can find those angles to have really great sight lines mm -hmm. towards the choke and then have safe positions to fall back to right. around the point. For the offense, um, things like Sombras and Pharaohs are not uncommon to see. Right, right. That's um, a good point. The Pharah just gives you a lot of opportunity to kind of rain damage from afar and help your team get through that choke. And then with that huge uh, tower there right in the center of that first point area, you have a great opportunity to... Um, you know, just use a lot of uh, high high ground cover, mm -hmm. uh, and just gives the Pharah a lot of opportunities. Right. Yeah. As, as a character who <laughs> extremely benefits from being uh, aerial, uh, yeah, Eichenwald first point for sure definitely uh, lends to you know a Pharah being able to uh, kind of show off her strengths. Uh, you know, being able to take that high high in the air positioning without being uh, too vulnerable. So uh, we'll see what these teams are gonna do now. Uh, definitely. I, I think we're getting a vibe, perhaps, for, uh, you know, what Blackjack and 1516 respectively, uh, you know, play uh, on a normal composition basis. But, you know, well, we'll see where they go with this. You know, they may switch it up for Eichenwald. They may have some specific uh, strats, as they say. Yeah, and uh, as our teams start to put their compositions together, we are going to have Blackjack Gaming starting out on the defense. Cool. So, um, you know... Looking for that, uh, looking for that hold here yeah. is Blackjack Gaming. I wouldn't be surprised to see them bring out a uh, similar comp Ready to what we saw in Volskaya, mm. um, and that is exactly what they're going to do <laughs> as we uh, start to start to get our first look here at the. Um, defense. We are gonna have, we, we <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> I want it so bad, and I know you're you trolling. You know the offenders are I lions. know you're trolling, Vidas. You gotta stop. 
But we we will have the Hanzo Ash uh, defense with the okay. uh, Reinhardt and the Zarya. Gotcha. So I like that. There's not too terribly much high ground you have to deal with here, so you don't really need the Diva. And uh, then the Moira, just really good to keep those tanks up. Uh, right. Kind of support the Zen as well. Gives you and uh, a character with a Three, nice, light, two, nice bit of escape. One. The offense Attackers gonna run this uh, Hanzo McCree comp, which is in Ana and the uh, same tanks. So gotcha. okay, so we'll see how this uh, works out for them. Uh, I think I do like the Ash mainly just for her AOE dynamite effect. However, a gigantic sleep and a charge. Oh wow! So Danger Man actually caught out in the open and gets slept and charged immediately. Um, it looks like uh, Blackjack Gaming may have to retreat pretty far uh, just to make up for that. It's gonna take Danger Man a, a little bit of time to get back to point, and there we go, 15, 16, just running to point now that they know they have the numbers advantage. So. We do see them now playing a completely different game now. Danger Man comes back, but there's not a lot of support there. So we're going to see 1516 finally playing this composition the way it's supposed to be played. Yes, wow. That was really great by them. And you know who was the catalyst of that whole win was Ryu. Ryu, hit, that big sleep. Hit two big sleeps uh, throughout that fight. Oh, I didn't see the second yeah, one. Yeah, the second one onto the Zarya initiated oh, okay. that kill as they started to re-engage. And really what I think uh, Blackjack Gaming needed to do there was completely back out get their Reinhardt, and then go for the recontest uh, as a six. But now they are going to be able to take uh, position up on that castle. Danger Man does fall down low, so he's singled out here. Did he get booped by the by the Zarya right-click? There's no way, right? I don't know. I don't know. However, we've got the Earth Shatter getting uh, a couple of picks. However, oh, and Danger Man tries to counter Shatter, but Ryu again with those big sleeps. Does get uh, you know hit in the interim, but we've got uh, Blackjack Gaming finally securing a defense here. But both uh, Reinhardt's unfortunately kind of wasting their uh, Earth Shatters here. Yeah, Ryu <laughs> getting putting on a <laughs> clinic on the honor wow. right now. Wow. Yeah, but love it. I love to see it. I unfortunately do. for 15-16, they weren't prepared to follow up on that Earth Shatter, so uh, the fight was able to be turned around when the rest of Blackjack Gaming dropped down off of that high ground. And now we are going to begin to see this re-engage come out. Uh, Spook just trying to hold position on the cart. Sunspot looking for a new position to uh, rain damage down on the Ash. Yeah. So we do have a trade here going on between the two teams. We're going to see how they take advantage of that. Blackjack uh, up 5v4. Looks like 1516 is probably just going to wait for that regroup. They do have the spawn advantage, um, but they may try to Bob, put that pressure. Bob it. does get thrown out here, so Sunspot getting the Bob presence. And Ryu, again, these big sleeps, really taking down these priority targets. It looks like Blackjack Gaming, however, isn't afraid that Bob was taking a nap, and they do get three kills here, so they're going to hold this defense strong for right now. Yeah. And they are holding on, uh, uh, you know, pr pretty, pretty hot. Yeah, I mean, good use of the bomb there just to, as a distraction, if nothing else, and it allowed them to get that kill onto uh, Spook. And now Technica gonna have the Dragon Strike for this fight. Vidas has one of his own. So we are Holy looking to see. Gosh. There's gonna be the Sound Barrier for the engage. Yep, so 1516 using Sound Barrier and that Deadeye. Uh, looks like that doesn't really uh, make any uh, pressure here, though. We got the Coalescence, Transcendence, and the Diva Bomb coming up for Blackjack Gaming. However, a nice uh, Graviton Surge plus Dragon is able to take down a few members here. 15-16 uh, making that switch for Noma on over to the Widow. We got the Counter Dragon coming out from uh, Technica. It does put some pressure onto the cart. However, they're still pushing. Nobody falls to that Dragon. Uh, yeah. Grip getting caught out, but is able to fade out of the, the range of uh, that Winston. We'll see, oh, uh, unfortunately, with the extra pressure from other teammates, that long range damage does get uh, that Moira kind of, uh, looks like staggered pretty hard here. Prompto trying to make some make some things happen, get in, disrupt, get out, like Hammond does. Um, Oh, but oh, there we go. Man. I was looking for some Lucio boops here on the bridge, and Ethereal really uh, coming in hot, serving up those big boops. Prompto dying to a real fat grenade too. I mean, 1516 really making some good work here on this uh, on this attack now. They're getting uh, defended and stalled right here at the very end, but um, we'll see what happens. Bob doing some work from Sunspot, keeping keeping that presence on the point. It's able uh, to get uh, 1516 off the point for long enough. Danger Man just kind of swipes Spook off of the off the bridge and keeps him out of there. So. 
Yeah. Finally, uh, you know, not not a whole lot of distance to go for 15-16, but they are held here before this next checkpoint. Yeah, and two minutes left. And I think really the only reason that happened is uh, Blackjack Gaming trying to win fights that they're significantly down in. Uh, I think they could have backed out of that fight and gotten, again, just an a little bit earlier re-engage, a little bit earlier hold if they hadn't uh, tried to win that one out. But now, coming through the castle is going to be Venus on the Oh, on man. The Sunspot moved over to Widow, but unfortunately he gets pounced on immediately. So the Coalescence rip, keeping the team up here um, while the rest of 1560 uh, is trying to make this attack. But the Primal Rage and the uh, Sound Barrier really going to do a lot of work here, making a lot of space here. Spook really giving us, uh, you know, a, a big, big showing of how Winston can be extremely effective as a tank here, so Prompto, the only one for Blackjack Gaming, really making this stall. The dragons come out and they stall this point as well temporarily. Prompto trying to crouch around, but unfortunately gets chased around by Winston. Uh, we've got a few members from Blackjack Gaming trickling out here in the last minute. Uh, we've got most of the team back, so we'll see if they can make this work, but a good anti. Oh, and the Transcendence right before the Zenyatta dies. He pops that Transcendence, saving himself and his team. Oh, That Winston bubble was so important important right there, blocking the Earth Shatter in almost its entirety. And it looks like Spook just really knows his Winston play, man. Coming in here, a lot of pressure onto Blackjack Gaming, that Diva Bomb uh, coming in hot, Prompto stalling for the rest of the team, but 1516 really, really knowing that they gotta put this pressure on. They have 20 seconds left on the point. And a big anti-grenade. Ryu coming in with those Ana plays. They just have to secure these last couple of kills really quick and they're gonna get this checkpoint. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that and we're Technica still Technica on Tracer here. coming in and still stalling, but a grenade taken her out finally. Wow. Yeah, uh, my favorite part from that fight <laughs> was Ryu recognizing Ethereal's huge boop on the Danger Man and saying, you know what, Lucio, have this nano boost. Here you you go. look like you're doing stuff. You know what you're doing, buddy. <laughs> there you go. So Let's break it down, buddy. So, yeah. Uh, I, I love the Winston shield block on that uh, Earth Shatter. Man, oh, that, that was very tight. Um, so we do have, Vidas switched over to Genji a little while ago, so we, they, they do have a Genji blade in their pocket. Uh, Diva Bomb coming out, unfortunately not taking down anybody, but we do have a big fight happening here in the middle. Superhero actually moving over to Brigida and Vidas dying immediately after he uses his Dragon Blade. Um, we, we got a lot going on. The uh, beat drop from Ethereal on the side of 1516, keeping his team up, uh, and it looks like they are gonna uh, kind of overwhelm the rest of Blackjack Gaming, but... Oh no, they actually did have to retreat here now that Blackjack's got some key picks going on here. Sunspot onto that McCree, really uh, doing some work here. Yeah, absolutely. They are going to have to kind of try to reset, re-engage here. We've got Hanzo over here on the flank. That's Vidas has uh, swapped off of the Genji now using that Storm Arrow. We are going to get... Oh, and a big Earth Shatter coming out from Spook. We're going to see if it works. That Coalescence keeping the team up in the middle of that. So we've got uh, Nano and Reinhardt on the side of 1516 put a lot of pressure on. And the big two. Prompto coming in with two Diva Bomb kills on both of the supports. There we go. Blackjack Gaming sees that they're at a disadvantage and makes no it work. Nobody was on the point. So Blackjack able to make that defense here in the middle of this last section. Yeah, we did. Wow. That was a really good defense. I wow. like the aggressive um, coalescence there mm -hmm. to try to open that fight. Unfortunately, they got shattered. <laughs> they did. But they survived it. Because the coalescence was exactly, still up, right? Exactly, because yeah. uh, luckily we did have the coalescence far enough back, I believe, was that was that grip there on the grip Moira? Grip on that Moira. Yeah, was Grip has been doing some back. work as that support, right? Yeah, the, uh, the Rhine was unable to get in with the shatter, but uh, some really good stuff from 1516 there, and I think a lot of it comes down to Ryu really showing up there on that Ana. Like, I didn't was not noticing a lot of his play for the first three maps, but this map, he came to play, oh, yeah. and he's really putting something, in the work here. Something about uh, Eichenwald, yeah, really bringing out, I mean, just such key plays here. You know, we were seeing uh, very effective, you know, uh, anti-grenades onto Blackjack. Uh, we're seeing very, very um, intelligent sleep darts going off, uh, you know, taking out key members in the middle of fights. Uh, Ryu getting a sleep dart off on a danger man, like, as he's shattering? I mean, what? who does that? 
Ryu does that. Whose man's is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. It's it's great to see such intelligent and and uh you know in depth Ana play going on. So you know bring in one of my favorite supports uh you know to the to the top here. So we're gonna see uh. Now 15-16 doing this defense, I believe, and Blackjack Gaming attacking now. So uh, we've got Vidas on the Junkrat. And Probably gonna Sunspot put some... on the Farah here is going to be looking Ooh, to counter that Junkrat yeah. pretty hard. That's that's going to be rough. So Vidas needs to make sure his positioning's pretty tight or that is going to make quick work of him. And again, we've got the oh. Farah in the back line getting Vidas out right away. Just like we were saying, that counterplay is very strong. We've got a, a Prompto taking care of Ryu as well. So, I mean... 15-16, looks like they're falling uh, kind of hard here in this first fight. Blackjack Gaming, uh, you know, taking the point here. Yeah, and uh, we did see Sunspot play some really great fare there, staying oh, yeah. out of the sight lines of Noma so that the uh, hit scan was unable to really have much of an effect in that fight. Oh. And Noma's going to go down to a superhero yeah. early here, which is going to give Sunspot even more free reign That's as right. we push into the second point. And Noma actually makes the switch on over to McCree, probably for that stun potential and the dead eyes. So we're going to see uh, Sunspot might be in a bit of an odd position here with uh, oh, gets getting hacked. contested. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, we'll see how this works. Um, you have another hack attempt going off from Prompto. Both teams actually playing Sombra right now, I just noticed. Um, we do have uh, Danger Man getting hacked here, and a big Earth Shatter coming out after the hack on the Reinhardt. There we go. Nano, uh, I'm sorry. We got the big anti grenade follow up as well. I mean, that was that was pretty smart of them. Hacking that Reinhardt and then in the confusion, just getting a really chunky Earth Shatter and an anti grenade. Yeah, that is such excellent play and coordination from 1516 to find that. Uh, Vidas doing a really good job of just playing off to the side there, not being seen until the last possible moment. But Sunspot is going to have the. Uh, the barrage. We've got nano. We've got transcendence. We've got EMP. We've got shatter. They're gonna have we're the gonna graviton. Have a, we're gonna have an ult fiesta here pretty soon for blackjack if they can do this. A danger man hack and an EMP coming up from Prompto. Uh, looks like that earth shatter unfortunately doesn't get anybody. The barrage as well, not securing any kills. But we've got danger man nano right now going in. Slaps ethereal right in the face with that fire strike. And we've got the two men. Uh, you know, Graviton Surge, I'll take it. Those are two assured kills. And look at that. Blackjack Gaming making use of their ultimates and just coming in hot. Um, Unfortunately, they, using five of them there. I was so, about to say they did uh, not use getting most of great them. value out of right. each ultimate, but they they do get second point with that. They're going to they have do. five minutes, 20 oh, seconds man. And to try to push it. Off just a few meters. Noma able to get a few kills here, but it looks like Blackjack still trades. Um, so Vidas and Prompto having a bit of a Sombra race here, if you see. They're both in Fizz. Uh, now Prompto, oh, is able to uh, translocate away before he's hacked out of it. So that's pretty good awareness from him, uh, knowing to... to uh, Nano Boost going on to Nano, and then we have the EMP coming out uh, as well. So uh, that, that High Noon able to get Danger Man caught off guard. Uh, so we've got 15, 16, barely... 0.27 meters. They get this hold set up. So if they can hold this for another five minutes, then they they're gonna you know take this into another uh, round here. But -wee, that wow, is a close hold. That was from met. 15, Woo. 16. But they are still gonna hold on to their shatter bomb combo. Uh, but Which I ultimates, think is smart, yeah. But getting to come Ooh. up, they get an early kill on the Prompto. That is going to have to force a reset. So they're going to be looking for this EMP shatter combination, I imagine, for the side of Blackjack Gaming. Prompto going to have that EMP shortly. Sunspot getting hacked here. And I like Spook, I think, setting up for a, a cheeky Earth Shatter position, uh, perhaps, or even just a charge. He's setting up on that left side there, but I don't know that the enemy team is fooled right now. They are just kind of holding there. Um, I even think Sombra's letting them know that the Reinhardt's just kind of chilling in his position, but you know, if he gets off a good charge or something, you know, that's, that's an anti nade. Oh, that is, and looks like Vidas uh, gets Prompto out of that battle again. Uh, good sleep onto the Diva. Diva's out of the battle for right now, so Blackjack might be able to take advantage of that. But it looks like they are still just trying to figure out how to to enter, how to initiate. Uh, there's a lot of pressure going on uh, from 1516. 
Yeah, doing such a good job of holding them at this choke, but Technic is going to start to push in here. Danger Man coming to assist. Oh, There's and a big the... EMP combo coming out here. So we've got the, the Transcendence as well, keeping the team up. And oh! three people with the Rip Tire. We've got Somber, McCree, and Ana down with their Rip Tire. Getting the Diva out of Mech as well. Sunspot showing up here. They want this point. They want it bad. And looks like Blackjack Gaming has got this in the bag. Unbelievable! Wow! That is a 3-1 win for Blackjack Gaming here, finally finishing it out on Eichenwald, but such a wow. good attempt from 15-16. They really showed oh, up on here these, we last, go. these last few maps. And, I mean, just really, real thick, thick tire. T-H-I-C-C -C tire. Look yeah, at this. I mean, look at this. Oh no! Noma even tries to flashbang it, but unfortunately misses the hitbox. Wow! Yeah, what what a match <laughs> we had here tonight. Only four yeah. maps, but I mean, they were close ones. They were, yeah. I mean, they really put up a fight, both of them. So yeah. it's great to see the, the these two teams fighting. Both teams looking really good. So, uh, Avi, who who's your standouts for each team tonight? Who, uh, who was really doing I, it for you? I I gotta say, um, I. I, I've always been a, a support man. I've always been been fond of these supports. So I got to give a shout out to Grip on the side of Blackjack, really showing up with that Moira play, knowing exactly when to go in deep and, you know, get some damage to get that heal bank, uh, you know, refueled and keeping that team up. I saw so many uh, well-placed coalescence, uh, you know, uh, placements from Grip. Uh, and then I, I got to give a shout out on the side of 1516 to Ryu. Uh, you know, specifically like we were just talking about on Eichenwald, there was a lot of great plays there. But, you know, I was seeing great things coming out on Junkertown and Lijong as well from Ryu. So uh, really making that Ana look so clean, so, so uh, on point, really just utilizing that that toolkit to, to the best advantage. So what about you, Suds? Um, for me, I'm going to have to, for Blackjack Gaming, i got to give it to Ele, to La Technica mm -hmm. is what I'm going to say his name is. Hey. hey, real quick, just a quick little shout-out for us casters. Please fill out your team sheets. Please. Fill out your team sheets, and I'll pronounce your name right every time, I promise. Every single time. Every we will, single we will time. We do it. But... Regardless of how, <laughs> whether or not I'm saying it right, La Technica doing great work on the Junkrat, on right. the Farah, doing so much good stuff. Actually, Sunspot as well. The DPS on mm. the side of Blackjack Gaming playing so yeah, well. Yeah, very strong. On the side of 15-16, I really like the looks we got from uh, Vidas. I mm -hmm. think, uh, I believe it was in Nano there on the off tanks was oh, doing yeah. a, Nano, lot a lot of really good Diva. work. Right, um, yeah. And but yeah, just some really good uh, kind of those those like stun shatter combos oh, we yeah. started to see kind of come to the forefront for fifteen mm -hmm. sixteen. Uh, really impressive, and I'm excited to see them after you know a couple more weeks of playing together. I think they're going to be very very strong. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a fantastic point, and I also want to give a shout out to to Spook as well. Um, a lot of really really tight Winston play, a lot of very very clever bubbles. I mean, oh, blocking yeah. like uh, Diva bombs and Earth shatters. Those like, blocking Earth shatters as a Winston is one of the most difficult things to yeah. do in this game, and he was doing it that more timing, than once. The timing, you're right, is so difficult because you have to anticipate right before that earth shatter is going to go off or else you're you're stuck on the ground right in front of that rhine looking like a, a dumb monkey yeah no kiddo so, <laughs> but and um, nobody wants to look like that i guess that's gonna about wrap it up for us i want to give a quick shout out to danger man 25 running the lobby and playing main tank hey. for blackjack gaming there so uh good stuff thanks good stuff. thanks a lot for running this lobby yeah, danger man we thanks. really appreciate thanks, it buddy because God knows we shouldn't be doing yeah. it. <laughs> we should not. We are hardly trusted with casting I capabilities. Know. Much less here we are. running fair lobbies. Ooh. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, big thanks to him. Yeah. And uh, I think that's going to do it for us. One, Let's take a quick look one more time at our games. Yes. Go go over to the Outlet Tournament. It's going to be hosted here as soon as we get off. But uh, hop over to Outlet Tournament. Go watch Echo 6 versus Otter Oxide. That's got to be a good match. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm real excited to go check that one out. Yeah, but, again, um, been hearing great stuff about these Miners players. So, yeah, check them out, guys. Keep that support up. That's absolutely right. But I think we are going to go ahead and sign off here. So, uh, once again, I'm Suds and Bubbles. Here with me was Avi. And right here I'm Avi. And next to me I've got my friend Suds and Bubbles. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And we'll hopefully see you next week. Yes, thank you, guys. Gearing up for week three.